We're here down in Cabo San Lucas, the sport fishing capital of the world for our second day of fishing. Our first day was absolutely fantastic. Cabo VIP Rentals has taken care of us with our accommodations, beautiful view of the Pacific Ocean right across to downtown Cabo. We had an amazing day on day one on the water. We got into some beautiful yellowfin tuna on day one. Rob's first tuna ever was about 40 pounds. My largest tuna ever was about 80 pounds. Rob caught a bigger tuna later in the day, about 70 pounds. Plus, he got his first ever striped marlin, which was about 100 to 120 pounds. I don't know how we're going to top day one, but just knowing that there are bigger fish around right now, and our captain, Hobe, thinks that we're going to have a legitimate chance at hooking and catching a yellowfin over 200 pounds, which sends chills up my spine. The guys from Tag Cabo Sport Fishing, seem to have us dialed in. We're gonna be looking for dolphins again today, where you find the dolphins and porpoises. That's usually where you find the big tuna. So I'm super excited to get back out on the water and enjoy day two fishing with Rob. What do you got there, Rob? They tell me it's a mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi or a, I wouldn't know. a drought? Oh, look at a pretty fish. Pretty oh, jump there, oh, nice. Jump. Another first for me. Another first. Another first. <laughs> Nicely done. A lot of times where there's one, there's multiple, eh, Rob? So these guys are casting live bait out right All now. Right. And they'll follow it right to the boat with other fish and sometimes hook up. Look how bright that is. Pretty, oh, huh? Smokes. Nice bull. Nice bull. Oh. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Pretty, eh? A pretty fish, eh? I've never, obviously never caught one, but seeing that color change is pretty cool. That was awesome. Like, yeah. out there, he's kind of bluish hue, and then he gets in, and he's got that bright yellow, and he's got yeah. the blue spots on him. Yeah. Super neat. That was fun. Fish on! Oh, and we got a marlin out there. We saw a jump there right after the take. Oh, he's right under the surface out he, there. He hammered that. Yeah, I did. Little tank boys are hurrying yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She spit me a bit raw. Thanks. There we go. That was crazy. <laughs> We're all sitting in there. <laughs> oh boy, is in there getting the kite ready to fly the kite here. Next thing you know, this rod just goes right off and he grabs it. Look at that, I can see him right under the surface over there. Nice. We'll double up while we get live bait out there again. Maybe there's another one with him here. This one's just under the surface there. Oh, he's all lit up under there. Woo! That's cool. He's not ready. You look him in the eyes. Oh, yeah, he saw somebody here yeah. and took right off. Here we go. Mahi, mahi. Yeah, boys. Nicely done. Hey, twin brother. Nice. Twin brother, buddy. Hey, hey? Nice. Twin brother. That's yeah. awesome. There we go. Hey, picture time. Gracias. Picture time. Second mahi of the day. Rob landed the first one. This one just bit. A good fight. Strong fish. Get the lines back in the water here. One of the methods we're gonna be fishing for these yellowfin tuna is with a kite that's sent up in the air. Basically, you just fill up a large balloon with helium on the boat, you attach a kite to it, it's sent up in the air, your line is attached via clip, and the whole idea of this is your flyer bait is just skipping on the surface of the water. So you constantly have to work the rod to make sure you have enough line out where that flyer is basically skipping off the water. You don't want it dragging under the water, and obviously you don't want it suspended above the water. It needs to be skipping on the top of the water, acting like a bait fish, which creates attraction to these tuna. 
Positioning of the boat is extremely important. You gotta get this flyer bait right in front of the dolphins when they're moving. The big tuna kinda seem to hang out right in front of the porpoises or the dolphins, and these dolphins follow in behind. And this is the first time I've actually ever fished with a kite, but I've heard all about it, I've done some research on it, and I know it is a super effective method for fishing these yellowfin tuna. I can't move them. There's no pump in the reel. Underlay. This one feel a little better, Brandon? This is a big. This is big. They're putting your our kite right back out again. Oh. Double header big fish, Rob. Nice. Oh, he's kind of swimming at us. It's amazing when you look at what, oh. what fishing does for the communities. I and mean, right from here in Cabo all the way to Alaska, you know, you and I have had the opportunity to fish there. All up and down the west coast, eh? It's so important to everywhere on the coast. You know, big cities like this one, the small coastal communities, it's their lifeline. These guys are fortunate. They get, uh, you know, most days of the year here. There's not too many days they're braving uh, the cold out here, hey? No. And the fish are around. You know, we lose some of our fish in the fall. Yeah. They don't start again till Take a fish year around, all the different species moving in. I can only get like one crank every time, eh? Yes, one crank. Oh, there you go. Just, Just get in the rhythm. Savor the moment. Get in the rhythm. Enjoy yeah. every crank. Good work out there. Huh? Oh yeah, the arms are burning. He peeled a lot of the line when the guys were dealing with it up there on the bridge. Yeah. Oh yeah. He had a little, little bit to make up there. <laughs> Giddy up. This is great. Wow. This is what it's all about. Come on. Stop, pull it up. I'm really enjoying watching your reel this you morning. Are, eh? I can't wait for your turn. <laughs> you know, we got a few more fish to catch whenever you're done there. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> he does not want to come up. He feels, he feels bigger than that 70 or 80 we got yesterday. <laughs> he's acting like he's bigger, that's for sure. This is a little give and take, and more take right now. <laughs> Well, the whole boat's enjoying this, if it makes you feel any better. I'm glad I could entertain you guys. <laughs> there you go, you got a little bit of that time. <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone always wants to catch a big fish. And when you get into it, you're like, do I really want to catch a big fish? <laughs> and you're like, yes, I do. And you get that little fear about losing it, too. My thing with when you get an opportunity like this is you don't know if you'll get another chance in your life. That's right. Right? Like, you have no idea. Now, we talk lots about <laughs> how fortunate we are to have a lifestyle like this. Because it is a lifestyle for this whole coast. That is a powerful fish. One forward, two back right now, my friend. Man, I, I thought when they had the few wraps of the mono on the line that we were... Yeah, he took all that and some more back. Yeah, he did. Why we're taking turns. Ooh. Ooh. Is it the luck of the draw or is it the loss of the draw? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who got the better end of the deal on this one. Jeez. That's that's gotta be a 40th run. <laughs> At least I think. I lost track of time. 
five or six times you've had him within 60 feet. Yeah. But he's not close one to that One time now. we had quite a few wraps on the rod. This one he's being real stubborn. Stay there. Stay there. Oh. All your mono's gone again. That's weird. That's weird. It was right there. Uh, let's, let's see what it run that time. Hey, I'm out the leader. I can't reel anymore. There it is. It's coming. Ooh. Nice tuna, oh. buddy. Oh, it's wrapped around his neck. Oh, no. Got him? <laughs> That's all I got. I'm gassed. How long was that? Uh, well over an hour. Oh, my god. That's a strong <laughs> fish, man. Oh, they're bringing it in. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah. you nailed it, buddy. <laughs> I tell you. You nailed it. Oh, oh, you need to get us in. Boys, good teamwork, Woo. okay? Good yes. work. Yes. Great work. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy smokes. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That's nice a, job, Lalo. Oh, hey. boy. That's a tour of it. a lifetime, eh? It's like me, man. My yes. friend? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll give you an easy <laughs> and I'll shake your hand. Nice job. Oh, wow. Holy right. smokes. This. Something like Okay, this. I want you to hold it up for a picture. <laughs> right now, come hold on. Picture, <laughs> no, I don't even know what to say. That, that, that's, we had a couple shots of some big fish this guy saw. Finally, we, we got a hook up and met. That's bigger than any tuna I ever thought I would catch. I've never, I've never seen anything like that. It makes, it makes you feel so small. Man, that's what, a, what, a, what an honor. <laughs> Actually, that, what an honor. Man. That's... Got to give that guy some respect. Winner, tuna, amigo. <laughs> You ready? Oh, I'm always ready. Right. Oh. Hey. Oh. Yeah. That was quick. Right in the mix again, eh? With all those dolphins. Yeah, right on the money. The small circles, right? Yeah. Yes. What do you think about your fishing experience in Kabul for the first time? You think you'll be back? Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Times to get light out. We have a couple yeah. hours we can get in in the morning, eh? We'll make good use of that hot tub in the condo, that's for sure. <laughs> We're gonna double up here. Double up. <laughs> nice little breeze, too, uh, hey? Just uh, take that edge off there. Oh, oh it's beautiful weather. Just sweat and bucket. You can do it, amigo. Oh, you can oh. do it. Andale. Andale. fish yeah there we go there you go nice this is an incredible experience absolutely incredible it's andale andale fish on fish on double hair boys boom another bite on the flyer on the kite <laughs> it's on <laughs> start trying this is mayhem right should, now. Should we get the couch out, Brendan? May you sit beside me? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> double, double hook up. Double. Double Don't see that watch, watch the line. Yeah. I mean, you're reeling, but you're, like, as hard as you can. Right? I know. It's like every muscle you have is cranking on this thing. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> it looks... I've seen this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, no, like, like, uh, no, it's not no, like silly fish. No, even <laughs> this, this big gear, you still gotta give it all to crank it in. Yeah, yeah. Heavy fish. Nice. Yeah. He's starting to get tired. Yeah. No, A no, little no. bit. No, he's not. You're just starting coming up. You're just coming up. <laughs> what? Wow, Rob. <laughs> How'd that feel? So, Rob, pretty good experience come here, on, eh? Come on. Oh, don't stop. I'm Tag Cabo this. Sport don't Fishing. Stop. Come on, come on. Cabo VIP Rentals. What are you doing, buddy? This is Man. a very, very unique, exciting experience. Did we ever <laughs> I get say set that up? I say that with the most compassion and respect. 
I've fished lots of places, but this is very, very cool fishery. Very fortunate to have some great guys showing us how to do it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh you got it. You got one. Yeah. Woo! You're into one. This boat's called the office. This is my kind of office. Oh, jeez. I think you got a nice, nice heavy fish. <laughs> I'm not doing anything anymore about going to a four-hour massage. Well, you better book a couple's massage. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I, I can't reel anymore, guys. <laughs> you go get in the seat. I'll pass it to you, okay? Yeah, I, I got it. You ready? Give me a throw, 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 throw. Good, good. This is, this is mayhem. Like, I thought it had this fish. I haven't even seen the mono yet. These things sure make you work, don't they? Holy smokes. Oh, jeez, I'm just sweating up a storm, dude. You know what you'll appreciate most about this? They're putting the kite out right now. Why wouldn't they? They're gonna try and triple up. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> How you doing, Brandon? <laughs> Fried, man. How come? It's not like you just fought a 270 pound tuna 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, that was pretty quick back to back. Oh. Oh, man. I feel your pain. My back, I think, seized at one point. The forearm is fried. Look at And he's still pulling. He's coming in super round now. Circling? Yeah. Yeah. It exactly feels what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm pulling as hard as I can, and this fish just wants to run. He just goes. I can reel like pretty much one time every time I go down. And then he's taking it back out again there right now. Right Everything now. you just had, yeah. And maybe a little more too, actually. Like I'm holding off with your life to this rod. This is bucket list stuff. It's pure bucket list. Unreal. Marlin and tuna this big. He's just <laughs> relentless. Man, you got a big fish there again. You got the mono on there now. It's, it's progress, man. Baby steps, right? It's baby steps. Oh, this guy's been fighting for a long time. He's got to be. <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to come out ahead on this one. Tag Cabo going to work yeah, here. Yeah, boys. See him? You can see it. You can see him? Yeah. Almost at the leader, boys. Almost at the leader. Oh, jeez, look at that thing in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's sailing us. <laughs> boys. I'm retiring from yellowfin tuna fishing. It's official. Last time. Thanks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was a blast. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? Really good, oh my god. A double header to finish off the day. Rob, <laughs> what a fish, man. Right? <laughs> that's like that's like two granders in a day. Yep. Fish and blue marlin, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a nice job. Oh my god. <laughs> When you're fighting a fish, you just lose track of time. It's just short pumps, reel, short pump, reel. Keep that fish working, keep that fish moving. This fish literally <laughs> brought me to my knees. I was so sore, my back was cramping on me. I couldn't even stand up anymore. I was just like, man, is this really happening right now? Like, is, is this real life? It was almost like a dream. It was reality, and it was just a special moment. Like, you know, there's certain times in your life when you've experienced things on the water, you may never get another opportunity to experience that again. Well, this was the day we had on the water when we got onto these big fish. I mean, we were fortunate enough to find them. We were with the right crew to put us into them. We had a little bit of luck on our side landing them. This was a, a trip of a lifetime, really. And I know sometimes that gets a little cliche and is used, you know, more often than it should be. 
But I'm telling you, this trip truly was something special, and I couldn't even have dreamed something like this would be possible. To be able to share this with Rob Alcock, who's been such a great supporter of the sport fishing industry in BC for a lot of years, and a good friend of mine, made it even more special. It's the end of our time here in Cabo. As if this trip couldn't get any better, Pete has arranged a celebratory trip on the yacht Pegasus for us to go out and enjoy a sunset cruise. All right, guys, well, welcome to the Sunset Cruise tonight in uh, Cabo. Uh, I understand you had a great couple of days fishing. How did it go? Uh, it was unbelievable. Like, epic would be a word to describe it. I mean, the fish we got into on both days, I don't know how we could ever replicate that. Well, I can't. For me, it was a first time trip. So, I mean, it got spoiled rotten the whole time, and then the fishing was unbelievable. Yeah. I, I'm hooked. And aside from the fishing, our accommodations, Cabo VIP rentals, you guys hooked us up. Beautiful uh, properties, pleasure. you know, we got a great view, great locations, and we really appreciate yeah, it. Okay. Guys it's a pleasure to host you guys at Real West Coast, so we'll hope to see you guys back. Can't All right. wait, can't wait right to on, come man. back. We'll be right back. back. Want Alice's party on the boat? Yeah! Good call. <laughs> the sunset cruise was fantastic. Being out on the water, watching the sun go down, disappearing into Pacific, and this nice, tight group of people, that strong Canadian hospitality, was the perfect ending to one of the best fishing trips I've ever been on in my life. Thank you to Cabo VIP Rentals for sending us up on such an incredible trip.